Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. Come on India.com is our website. In the Hindu newspaper analysis video lecture, today we will discuss some important topics. Today's date is November 5th, 2016. First, let's discuss about NASA completes construction of the largest space telescope. The topic of James Webb Space Telescope James Webb Space Telescope is very important for the mains 2016 because it is extremely sensitive telescope and NASA took nearly 20 years to complete the James Webb Space Telescope. In this background we should discuss at least 4 to 5 important points so that you can write better answer in the mains 2016 and 2017 as well. First, let's discuss the key points in this topic. The first point is that it is 100 times powerful than Hubble Space Telescope. In our website comeonindia.com, we already covered video lectures on Kepler Telescope, Hubble Space Telescope. Soon, we will cover about James Webb Space Telescope in detail. So, James Webb Space Telescope will be a successor to the NASA's 26-year-old Hubble Telescope. So, Hubble Telescope also constructed by NASA and NASA is the US Space Agency. Webb Telescope's infrared cameras are extremely sensitive, so they need to be shielded from the sun rays. For that, NASA has constructed a 5-layer sun shield that will prevent the heat from interfering with the telescope's infrared sensors. One more important point in this topic is, already we discussed, 5-layer sun shield has been constructed by NASA. So each successive layer of the sun shield is made of Kapton. Kapton is an important point. What do you mean by Kapton? Kapton is a polyamide film. It is developed by DuPont. That's not important. The main point is that Kapton remains stable in a wide range of temperature from minus 269 to plus 400 degrees Celsius. So look at the range. So nearly from minus 250 degrees Celsius to plus 400 degrees Celsius, the Kapton film remains stable. So because of this property, Kapton is used in flexible printer circuits, thermal blankets used on the spacecraft, satellites and telescopes etc. One more important point for the prelims examination is that James Webb Space Telescope is a joint project of NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. So it's a joint project of NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. James Webb is a second administrator of the NASA who played a vital role in the Apollo program. So the telescope has, has been named after James E. Webb. Now finally we will discuss the applications of the James Webb Space Telescope. By using the James Webb Space Telescope, we can take the images of first galaxies ever formed in the universe. In the universe, there are billions of galaxies are there. Then how first galaxies are formed in the universe? So by using the James Telescope, we can take the images of first galaxies. And also we can explore the planets around distant stars. It will enable us to take direct images of the exoplanets. Exoplanets means planets outside our solar system 
so the planets which are located outside our solar system is called as exoplanets second topic that we are going to discuss today is about researchers aim to scoop out marine oil spills marine oil spill is becoming a one of the problem for all the countries the issue is especially important to india because india imports more than 80 percentage of its crude oil requirement through sea and via ships india is also in talks with iran to construct undersea oil pipeline so marine oil spill is an important topic for india so we we prepared national oil spill disaster contingency plan india prepared national oil spill disaster contingency plan to tackle the oil spill effectively recently scientists at the indian institute of science education and research at thirunelveli so indian institute of science education and research in thirunelveli have developed a technique which is simple efficient and cost effective they have developed a compound named as gelater so gelater is the name given to a compound developed by scientist at iascr when applied in the crude oil spill areas gelatinous congeal oil including crude oil from oil water mixture the method has some advantages gelatinous are in a powder form so it can be easily applied over oil water mixture and do not cause any environmental damage and another advantage is that gelatinous can be reused several times it can be reused several times but in case of crude oil gelatinous cannot be reused so these points will be sufficient for writing answers in the mains examination there is no need to learn technical details about gelatinous whether it has hydrophilic or hydrophobic part and so on mainly you should know the advantages of the gelatinous so three points we discussed one is in powder form so can be applied easily second it won't cause any environmental damage and it can be used reused several times in this context you should also know about another technique developed in india for effectively handling the oil spill is oil zapper technique oil zapper technique it is a bio remediation technique about bio remediation we already covered in our separate video lecture in comeonindia.com website technique was developed by the energy and resources institute the energy and resources institute developed this technique and sponsored by department of biotechnology the department functions under ministry of science and technology in the oil zapper technique five bacteria are present these are oil eating bacteria these bacteria are called as oil eating bacteria when applied over the oil spill areas these bacteria takes the oil spill or oil sludge and converts it into carbon dioxide and water so this is how oil zapper technique works so prepare thoroughly on oil zapper technique and also gelatinous technique developed by iiscr scientist in trivandrum few years back upsc asked a question on oil zapper technique in the mains examination so prepare thoroughly now let's discuss another article that published in today's hindu newspaper is turkey wants india to start free trade pact talks soon in this image 
you can locate the turkey important point regarding turkey is that it is the transcontinental country is a transcontinental nation that means major major portion of the turkey is located in the asian continent and some part of the turkey is located in europe as well so is a country located in both asia as well as in europe so a transcontinental nation means the nation which is located in more than one continent egypt also comes under transcontinental nation category how major part of the egypt is located in the african continent the small portion of egypt that is called as sinai peninsula sinai peninsula is located in the asian part so egypt also a transcontinental nation like turkey so turkey wants india to start talks on the proposed free trade agreement soon turkey is under political turmoil in july 2016 military tried to capture the power from the politically elected leadership but the military coup was successfully defeated and many persons have been arrested in this background turkey asks india to start talks on the free trade pact soon so that it can be concluded as a comprehensive economic partnership agreement turkish companies wants to make india as a gateway for improving business ties in south asia and indian companies can also use turkey as a hub to expand the operations in the european union one plus point for the indian companies which operate in turkey is that turkey has a customs union agreement with european union so turkey has customs union agreement with the european union customs union means that kind of trade block between many countries where free trade agreement is in operation along with common external policy common external tariff so turkey has customs union agreement with europe so india can benefit from this another important article published in the newspaper is mcr1 isolated in india and a further chapter in antibiotic resistance before discussing in detail have a overlook how antibiotic resistance develops antibiotic resistance develops it takes decades for the pharma companies to develop antibiotic a new antibiotic it takes plenty of time money for the research and development to develop a new antibiotic but after discovering the antibiotic we are forgetting the issue improper use of the antibiotic improper use of antibiotic means using the antibiotic judiciously even if not required so doctors should use the antibiotics carefully whenever it is essential because of the improper use of the antibiotics drug resistant bacteria emerges drug resistant bacteria emerges so the bacteria becomes resistance to the antibiotic produced and also you should know about colistin colistin is the last mile antibiotic that we have last mile antibiotic means it is the highest level of antibiotic that we have at present now many e coli bacteria showing the colistin resistance so beyond colistin we don't have highest level of antibiotics so 
bacteria especially e coli started developing resistance against the highest level of antibiotic that is colistin so indian scientist recently isolated a strain of e coli bacteria which is having a new gene called mcr1 gene so mcr1 is nothing but a gene the gene is resistant to the last mile antibiotics that human race currently have the name of the antibiotic is colistin why the discovery is very very important colistin resistance have been already discovered but it existed only as a mutation in the chromosomes mutations do not spread from one patient to the another patient but recently scientists discovered mcr1 gene which shows resistance to the colistin antibiotic so the gene is found in plasmid medium so colistin resistant bacteria can spread infection in hospitals and communities plasmid means it is a small dna molecule outside the chromosomal dna if you draw the picture of any bacteria this bacteria is a single cell and you can draw the nucleus it is the chromosomal dna and here we can draw plasmid plasmid is a small dna molecule located outside the chromosomal dna so resistance to the colistin developed and recently scientists discovered mcr1 gene and this plasmid is capable of transmitting the resistance to one patient to another patient so infection can spread in hospitals and communities so this kind of bacteria is known as super bug and also you should know about chennai declaration few years back world health experts gathered in chennai and they attempted to set a road map to tackle the anti microbial resistance in india so chennai declaration is related to the anti microbial resistance or anti biotic resistance so prepare thoroughly on these topics and visit our website comeonindia.com to get more video lectures on different topics from current affairs section if you are interested to join our ias 2017 online video lectures batch whatsapp and whatsapp number is 8098099922 all the best for your ias exam preparation thank you